The Skin Alliance meeting is an incredible meeting. This is an incredible opportunity to not only listen to speakers from around the world, but also speak to dermatologists from around the world. And I think it's an incredible way to integrate what we all learn in our own countries together. This morning I was fascinated by the presentation on pollution. You know, in our own cities, we are confronted every day with pollution, and we think about it mainly how it affects our lungs, perhaps, and, and our homes and our plants, but we don't think about how it affects our skin. We're so focused on ultraviolet radiation and not just airborne pollution. And I was most struck with the data that showed that airborne pollution, and soot specifically, is related to the development of lentigines in the skin. So you can actually get brown spots, not just from sunlight, but actually particulate matter in the air. This presentation presentation was very innovative because it not only spoke of the actual pollution in major cities and the development specifically of brown spots or lentigines on the skin, but also it gave some recommendations for prevention. So what we learned today was that long UVA light actually interacts with these microparticles to create the damage in the skin. And this shows us that more research and really more in the cosmetic industry needs to be focused on blocking long UVA light. Right now, there aren't that many blocks that actually block long UVA light. For me in particular, when I go home to Texas and I counsel patients on UVA protection and UVB protection and wearing sunscreen, I'm actually going to appeal to them in a different way now and talk to them about environmental pollutants and how wearing sunscreen is not enough. We actually have to incorporate not only oral or dietary antioxidants into our regimen, but also topical antioxidants to go the distance because these topical antioxidants can scavenge the free radicals that are being generated by pollution in the environment and not just ultraviolet light.